Why, hello again, pokey people! Lovely to see you! So, as you may know from my recent mystery pack battle with the Hungry Cabigon, I was down at Big Magic buying mystery packs, and, well, that means I bought more than just what I used in that video, because I, I love mystery packs. They're so much fun! It's like twice the gamble of just buying normal packs, even though normal packs are also really fun, and I can't stop buying those either. I don't have a problem. So what I have here are three mysterious boxes from Big Magic. Now two of them I have had a peek in. They're all 1,000 yen boxes, and I got two of the English card boxes and one of another mystery. Um, the English ones I had a peek in because I wanted to see what packs came in them and decide if I wanted to buy any loose English packs, since they do actually sell them. So I have an idea of what's in them. The other pack I did not peek in, but it said you could get things like GX and EX cards in it, but also supplies. And I don't know what that means, but it could mean sleeves, maybe a coin? I don't know which box is which. They're all about the same thickness. Let's just mix them up anyways. Boop, 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 boom. One fell down. <laughs> and we'll see which one is which. Now I know one of the English card pack boxes has a pretty fantastic card in it. Oop. And I'm excited to share that with you. Alright, is this the one? Yes it is. Alright, here he comes. Are you ready? Da 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 da! It's a Shaman EX! It's beautiful and so holorific and just, it's so cute! Oh, I'm sad that I couldn't give you guys like an honest, this is my first time seeing it reaction, but I did want to make sure that if I got packs I wasn't excited about that I could go buy more. But I think I got all packs that I really, really want in these boxes. So to go with Shaman, we got two packs, a Ultra Prism, and a Guardian's Rising pack. So let's actually put these down. We'll open the packs at the end and see how we go with those. Now this box, let's see what's in here. Oh, this is the other English box. All right, that makes things nice and easy. So we got one more, Ultra Prism, and my favorite ever, Shining Legends. So literally, with the exception of Generations, I got all the loose packs I would have wanted to buy anyways. And like, I think... They sell these for 800 yen each. Maybe Guardians Rising is 600. But 1,000 yen for two packs is a good deal here. Uh, last time around, I got one that had three packs in it, which was crazy. But the pulls weren't crazy. So this is the most mysterious of all. This one, I think you could get good cards, maybe a pack. And then it said supplies. And I, I just want to know what supplies means. <laughs> oh! But I'm seeing packs, so let's see what we get here. We've got... Da -da -da -da, forbidden Light! I guess this is also Forbidden Light, just based on that blue. Um, Ultra Moon! Thank you! And an Ultra Sun! An Ultra Force! Alright, well, five packs for a thousand yen. Uh, that's not quite as good of a deal, because, let's see... Um, yeah, just these is 600 yen, and then that's 230. So this was not quite such a deal for this box, but the other ones were, so it all balances out, I think. Let's go Japanese, then English, just because. Just, just because. No particular reason. Maybe because the English ones were not in my hands when I made the decision. <laughs> we'll start with Ultra Force here. I don't remember what all is in Ultra Force, but who knows? Maybe we'll get something crazy. We've got a Rotom. Uh, Krogunk, a Steel Energy, uh, Riolu, and Empoleon. Okay, nothing too crazy in that one. Ultra Sun! Now, this one, I don't think there's anything in particular at this point that I want from this set, but it's still possible to get, um, what's his name? Fulkner, or Gardenia, Full Arts, which I don't have. Um, hey, cute insert cards. I don't think there's... Obviously, like, some, um, trainer cards that are pretty awesome, but I don't think there's anything particular I'm after. That's a Fan Rotom. That's a Murkrow. That's an Alolan Dug Trio. Uh, I want to say Monferno? And then he becomes Infernape, right? And a Salazzle. All right. This is also weird, because I cut Japanese packs with scissors just because they never tear well for me, 
But then we're going to switch to English packs, which I'm just going to be ripping open. I have to keep track of the different pack tricks. Oh, goodness. Let's see. Hopefully I don't get too confused. We got a Toxicroak. Uh, I want to say Drifloom. I always get his name wrong. Pachirisu. Handsome. Also known as Looker. Hey! And a Don Wings Necrozma, who's going to go hang out with Shaman back there. All right, Forbidden Light. Let's let's blaze through these two, because we've opened a lot of this in recent history. I hope you guys aren't getting tired of it. It's just really fun, and I've been really hoping for the crazy, crazy pulls. And a Porter. Finnegan! Frogadier! Mustachio Zygarde! And Pyroar! Hollow. Not bad. All right, last of our Japanese packs here. Boop! Let's see what we get. Come on, crazy, crazy pull. Hey, we did get a mystery treasure, though, and these are always great for uh, selling, because I think I got 450 yen each for them when I sold some recently. We got a Gumi, Furfrau, uh, Skiddo, and Barbarical. So no really crazy pulls in there, but that one mystery treasure card basically gets nearly half the value back that I paid for that box, so definitely no complaints there, and I just like opening things. All right, for the English packs, how should we do this? Let's do Ultra Prism last, Guardians Rising, then Shining Legends. All right, let's see if I can remember how to open English packs. Apparently we open them like that, nice and easy. See, English packs just fall open. They can't wait to be opened. Um, I don't remember which way the code card goes. So I'm going to close my eyes <laughs> and put it behind me so I don't spoil it for myself. Sorry if you saw the color. I mean, you can shout the spoiler at me. I won't know. <laughs> we got a Fairy Energy Choice Band, Altar of the Moon, Machoke, Machop, Helioptile, Murkrow, Alolan Sandshrew, Machop again, different Machop, Aquapatch Reverse, and a Lilligant, regular rare. It's also just weird but nice being able to just cruise through them without having to think about the names, like I just have to read. All right, Shining Legends, Rayquaza Pack, come on. There are a few things I still need from this, um, obviously, I think Hyper Rares I need, like the Rainbow Rares. I need full art, uh, what's his face, Entei, and, oh yeah, this one, the code card doesn't matter, haha, <laughs> it's always white. Uh, who else do I need? Oh, um, I can't think of the name now, what are the Shinings? I need one or two Shinings still, I want to say Volcanium, but I don't think that's right. Anyways, we got a double colorless energy, Pokemon Catcher, Great Ball, Litten, I love Litten, Croconaw, Gullet, Bulbasaur! Totodile! So much cuteness in here! Our reverse is Ivysaur and... Shining Volcanion! Alright, well, I'm not sure if I have this guy or not. I will check later, but he gets sleeved regardless because if I really fail in pulling all the Shinings, maybe I can trade with people later on. <laughs> Anybody want anything? I do have a bunch of... Um, Shining Legends cards. Like, I have a full playset of Raichu GXs. I, I don't know what to do with them. I can't play over here. All right, who are we doing first? We pulled a Dawn Wings Necrozma before, so let's trust that that one's lucky, and we'll go for Duskmane first. Um, okay, the code card's not at the front. Just like, wait, I don't want to spoil things for myself. I'm also trying not to open the pack in a way that I get the reflection of the color on the foil. Uh, I don't know which way the code card's facing, so same thing, I close my eyes and throw it behind me. Ha ha! I'm, I'm a professional. <laughs> we do things with style over here at Dodo Wazaru's channel. Uh, Primplop! Orangaroo! Looker Whistle. Shouldn't it be Looker's Whistle? Like, with an apostrophe and an S, possessive form? I don't know, I always thought it was his whistle. But maybe it's just a very handsome whistle. We got Gibble, Croakunk, Turtwig, Rosalia, another Gibble, Reverse Lucario, ooh, that looks nice, and Magnezone Hollow. Nice. I don't think the last time I got one of these English boxes that I got any um, hollow rares. Like, everything was just normal, which is okay. That's not the worst thing that can happen. But... 
it's nice to get at least one hollow this time around. All right, um, same thing with the code card. Close my eyes and throw it over my shoulder. Or maybe I should just be looking at it. Maybe I'm jinxing myself. <laughs> We'll see in a moment. We got a Psychic Energy, Missing Clover, Manaphy, Lily, I loves her, Piplup, Scorby, Stunky, Young Goose, Magmar, Shaman is our reverse, which goes nicely with the card we got in the box, and Toxicroak, regular rare. All right. Well, nothing too crazy today, but we still have a little recap here. Uh, for our Japanese pulls, we got our Dawn Wings Necrozma. I almost said Dusk there. Shining Volcanion, which is amazing. And this beautiful Shaman EX, which I love to death and makes everything worthwhile. Eee, it's just so cute! Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm not sure what will be happening next. Maybe some more Forbidden Light, maybe some English packs, maybe some older packs. Who knows? It's a big fun mystery party up in here. I just do impulsive things and you benefit because you get to watch without spending money. Don't, don't, don't be like me and spend all your monies. It's, it's not healthy. But it's fun. Anyways, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Look forward to seeing you again in the next one. Bye-bye.